Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a quick video just kind of outlining this uh, low car TC 1000 HT universal throttle cable. I am uh, putting fuel injection on the 72 Mustang and if any of you guys with the 71 through 73 Mustangs are working on the same thing here, this is the throttle cable that comes on these cars. And I just bought this throttle cable about three years ago when I put the carburetor on it and this big contraption here at the front doesn't work with the fuel injection. The spacing between here and here is just too great and the throttle cable brackets that you can buy aftermarket just just don't accommodate the fuel injection gap. I'll show you what I mean. So I just got done installing this here so I wanted to just kind of go over. This is the basic anatomy of the front of the cable. This is the anatomy of it that you're about to see here at the bracket. I also had to buy this low car throttle bracket and then this is the anatomy of the cable at the actual um, firewall. So let's go over here, show you what I mean. Uh, here's the connection when it's all finished. And if I can demonstrate here, this is the actual uh, cable itself. This is the low car throttle cable bracket here. Here's the return spring that it comes with. And let me get a light in here so you can see a little better about some of the obstacles that I had to deal with in here. So here's the here's the Holly Sniper right here. And if you look here, the width between this first mounting bolt and this space here is too wide for one of those universal style uh, brackets that set up here that it actually bumps it right here so I discovered I needed to do the universal throttle cable when I got this uh, low car bracket uh, to use as the throttle cable stop and let me show you the problem I ran into grab this cable this you can see, if I were to use this cable bracket, this would be the stopping point of the cable right there. And if you look, it comes way out there, and there's no room in this, this uh, factory cable for an adjustment. So that kind of sucked. I think this, this cable was like 50 bucks, same price as this universal cable. So this amount of room just isn't gonna fly with using the stock bracket or the stock cable. So I had to go with a universal uh, mount here. And the way this works is you, you get the cable. This is a 24 inch cable. And this piece here, this braided piece is cut to fit uh, as well as this, the actual cable itself is cut to fit. And um, I found out from this cable, uh, I found out to use this cable from an old video that Tyler, uh, Tyler's Neighborhood Garage posted. I uh, got the idea from his old video there and it's it's a perfect solution for this and what it does is it runs through it's got some adjustment in a few places it's got adjustment here uh, that would be for your for your final tension on the actual cable itself that connects to the throttle linkage and it's also got some firewall adjustment in here so it's got two good spots for adjustment um, and then what you do the way it works I can bring it in. I'm sorry for the shaky camera, guys. No, no helpers here. But what you do is when you finally determine the point at which your first trim that you do. Let me let me back up. The first trimming that you do is the point from which it mounts from the firewall to the bracket. That's the first piece you cut, and you make sure you cut it with the cable out of it. You cut that here, and you give yourself a little slack just in case the engine wants to move back and forth and whatnot. You know, you don't want it to be too tight. Uh, oh yeah, before I go any farther, now is a really good time to make sure that you have an engine ground. So make sure you have a wire running from your engine block to a good chassis ground on your firewall because the last thing you want is for your engine to now start grounding itself through this stainless bracket. I had a uh, an old copper you can see this copper line here. I actually had a piece of copper one time ground this car out because there was no grounding cable attached to it when I first got it. It's a mess. It'll melt the shit out of everything. So make sure you have a good ground here. 
But basically what you do is you trim this first to your point of your bracket. Then you run your cable through and you connect it to your gas pedal. There's a little uh, clevis, clevis on the back of the uh, throttle cable itself that connects to the gas pedal. You run your cable through and what you got to do, so you don't cut it too short, is you bring it in through here. It goes through this little bracket area here and you want to stop it just about where that little S is for stop. That's as long as the cable actually is inside. You reassemble everything back together and you tighten down this little lock Allen key there and that'll lock it all down. And then you just go back through and you tighten everything down. And what you're left with is a nice tight throttle cable. So there's no interference. And then you always, you know, get another person in the car, put the uh, gas pedal to, you know, full throttle, foot down and make sure that it goes all the way to the stop on the actual fuel injection and comes back. This is a creaky little spring in here that it came with, but and I don't even need this spring. It actually, the sniper actually has a return spring built in right in there, but I ran it. The only thing I don't like with this cable setup, and it's just nitpicking because it, it's fine, but you'll notice the geometry between here and here. This could be out here, which would mean this bracket would have to be a little longer. So I'm going to contact Locar to see if they have a little bit longer version of this, and by the time I'm finished up, I'll go ahead and add that in. But I just wanted to demonstrate this Locar uh, universal throttle cable. It definitely saved the day, because I was kind of in a pickle trying to figure out what I was going to do. So hope this helped you guys out, and uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't, and rate, and I will be back with you at the next video.